expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well... You've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. You want to end up on the slab? Surrender yourself! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Thank you. 
This building is airtight. Hey, I already died once today. Suck my cock. Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or... Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet... 
Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood then, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life. I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Shit! What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. 
I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this one. I with anger issues and worse friends. No you, wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes? We begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus. Perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. Tail through the nose and out the mouth. Just exhale, Michael. Isn't that far better than booze and nicotine? In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self-centeredness drift away. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Out through those wrinkled lips. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Now, you breathe. Very good. Now let it go. Are you taking this seriously, or is this some elaborate way to get at me? The silly man forgets to breathe. There! Let it go! Breathe, Mikkel. Exhale. There. There it is. You can breathe, can't you? Keep it tight. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm, he may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata, yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. <sighs> Mike, would you? Hold your anus strong, my child. Let it out. You're turning red. For a meat eater, it's okay. Take in the air and release it. There. 
Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out. We need to talk to the kids about having a family session. Your lungs, they work, yes? If it's too much, just go into child's pose. Breathe, please, Michael. Out through the mouth. The backward eye between your thigh. Take in the air and release it. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out, baby. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. Back, back, yes, there you go. Oh, oh, mm, very... oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that we... shit! Ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Jimmy, you still here? James, go away. Oh, yeah, fuck you. You know what? It th it's nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. Where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly, but... Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You really have to meet my friend? <coughs> Yo, oh, bro, man. What's, what's up? What's, what's up, up man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> nah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful man. with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between-the-white-lines, friend-to-the-pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Oh, 
Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really? This is not normal. No. You're just paranoid. This is that paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Oh, oh God! I gotta stop. Oh, who was in there? It's harmless. Fets have been using it for decades. Oh, do you anesthetize me? You fucking shit. Protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. Huh? All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck!
Self-defense, you hear me? you want me to perform? This is discrimination against drug addicts with propensities for violence! Trevor, Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He's like family, that's it, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right, yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy, and, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Oh, uh, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. 
Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly... Rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run. We got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss... Well, I guess we're going to Port City then. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got only quite a stick in the mug. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order. My butt's gone The folks now. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Come on, about to start. You scumbag. Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth. It matters what came out. What? We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? <sighs> yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that's stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Merriweather guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right.
Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! Get up. We gotta do this. I guess they're gonna kick me out if I don't play along. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers. They're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boys on a waste clearance crew. Those are the containers in Bay B. That's it. Now we got to bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. There it is. Now I guess we gotta get the other one. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. No, no, no. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. Clap it on now! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. There was old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more! You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. Looks like you're in line. It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. We need to go to the other end, Bay 5. We ain't there yet. That's the truck. Ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. Container's locked, haul that freight. Signal man and crane driver working together. Now let's do the same thing again. Get back down to the other end. Line up the second red container at the end.
Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy. Trevor, come on. I can take you over to the warehouse. We can use the big rig. It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life. Floyd, it's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. Hey, 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 hey. You can't come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo. No understando. Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Hey. Stop! Where the fuck do you think you're going? Get back here! Get back here! got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, you must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, oh, he is. He's the chief of the army. Oh! Get him! Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merriweather. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, 
Of course. I, I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. Name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's a, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. Huh? That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's oh, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. <laughs> and there, perfect. I think that. So, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Got him. You and... You okay? All right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores. And I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath!
Do my naughty bit, cousin. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here. NLS really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, there's still some prep work and research to do, but it's looking exciting. I'll need you to bring along someone you can trust. All right, bro. I know someone. Hey, talk to Lester. He'll have a good angle on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double. Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap. Watch the birdie. Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you did on that on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe something oh. like this. Oh. Or like oh. that. Huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? you. you like that? Oh. Stop. Ooh. Stop. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not. not I'm, uh, I'm not Jock. Uh, what's his name? Cranley, big star in the eighties. We well, love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah, before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such 
Hahaha. <laughs> Ah, a pair of fruitcakes. <laughs>